Welcome to this session techies. Yogesh again. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about VMware Virtual Machines Open VM Tools Quick Installation and Installation Steps. So first of all, what are Open VM Tools? As a VMware admin, you have uh, worked on VMware tools, right? Uh, so Open VM Tools are almost same. Open VM tools are open source implementation of VMware tool. These tools enhance the performance of virtual machine, guest operating system, and improves management of the virtual machine. Open VM tools enable many features on VMware virtual machines, such as but not limited to, they can cloak sync between guest VM and ESX host, support for virtual hardware device and drivers, generation of heartbeat from guest to the ESX host for HA purpose, let's say you have uh, HA enabled, graceful power off uh, and power on of uh, guest machines. On which scenarios uh, open VMware tools are better than traditional VMware tool? Open, v open VMware tools are managed within the guest operating system. That's the first thing. No compatibility matrix checks required because these tools are certified by the operating system vendor and they give you the tested version. So it means uh, they already did all the compatibility checks for you. Updates are very easy. Basically, tools are available in a uh, form of RPM package. So you can simply use yum update, open VM tool, and your tool is upgraded. How you can install open VM tool? So first of all, uh, if you already got VMware tools on your system, just remove those. And uh, to install OpenVM tool, simply if you go to Red Hat or CentOS or Fedora distribution, yum install open-vm-tools, then you have to enable the service and start the service. I have uh, one knowledge base article from VMware where they are recommending that uh, go with OpenVM tool. They got uh, more benefits than the traditional VMware tools. And VMware fully supports OpenVM tools because uh, that's a uh, integration and collaboration between uh, Red Hat and other OS vendors as with the uh, VMware for OpenVM tool. So this is my server. This is on VMware. So let me quickly show you the platform. You can always run word word, which will tell you what hypervisor they're using. If you see hypervisor is VMware. Let me show you my OS release. I'm with send to our 7.2. The server is connected with the default send to repos. So let me quickly demo that also. Okay, so these are the repos. To install open VM tools, first I need to ensure there is no VM with tool loaded. I can run ps minus here and grab for VM tool ST, which is the VM with tool process. Right now nothing is running. I can then use yum to install open VM tools. Yum install open VM dash tools. Press enter. It will automatically install if any dependency package required. And uh, these particular tools are part of base repo, which means uh, they are maintained by a vendor. If you got satellite or some other server in uh, your center for the package management, you can put that tool there. If you see, this is part of uh, updates repo which is maintained by OS vendor themselves. It is saying you want to install. I'm saying yes. Okay, open VM tools are installed. So let's uh, start the service and enable it for auto start after every reboot. This is Dell 7, so I'm using system CTL start and service name. Service is started, so let me quickly see the status. Okay, service is started, it's active, and uh, let me enable it for automatic when server boots, uh, it automatically gets started. Okay, that's done. So, let me quickly demonstrate a couple of other. Underneath open VM tool, also use VM tool SD, so you can check in this way. If you see VM tool SD is running. Or you can use bgrep. Okay, uh, how you can check what is the version of VMware tool provided by this package? 
you can run vm tool st dash minus v sorry vm tool st space dash v it is telling this is vmware tool version 10.05.2125 to and this is a particular build and where all the logs are saved so all the service logs are saved inside var log vmware dash vmsvc.log file let me quickly show you content of this file so it will give you idea let me kill last 100 lines or let's see 50 lines if you see on 1st august uh, this particular installation happened so these were the services initialized using vmv tool and vmv tool is running so that was easy way to install uh, open vm2 in case you have to update it you can simply whenever you're doing your patching activity let's say you're doing your patching in that time you can simply run yum update it will automatically update vmware tool if you want to update only vmware tool uh, you don't want to update uh, other packages in that case uh, you can simply run uh, yum update open dash vm dash tools right now the tool version we code that is latest one that's the reason it is saying uh, no update available so that was all about uh, open vm tools and uh, if you have any question any query just leave a comment on my youtube channel and in case you are under any doubt whether to go with open vm tool or vmware tool you can always cross check with vendor your operating system vendor and uh, vmware and whatever recommendations go with that thanks for watching this video Bye-bye.